Well, finally, we're back. Good morning to you. It's now Wednesday, November 15th, I think, 2017. It's around 6 a.m. And I've been disappointed since we've had just cloud cover and rain and cold here up in northeastern Ohio. But right now we do have a 8.5% uh, sliver of a moon up there. In the still pictures, I was able to catch the uh, cap, the dark side of it. But there's a whole bunch of stuff up there this morning. We've got Mars racing ahead of the moon, so it'd be up to its right, and Spike is down below it. Um, Jupiter and Venus, they're not in view yet. They're not above the trees yet, but they're, they have risen. So it should be a cool lineup once they, uh, once they come into view. I hope I can stay out long enough for that because, I don't know, it's about 26 degrees out or something like that. It's pretty nippy. And the, the moon right now, it's, it's pretty high up um, in the southeast. I do see Sirius over in the southwest just flashing and a few other stars by eye. My goodness, it's been a long time. <laughs> Too many days. It's not coming in the greatest cell, which is a bit surprising for how high up it is. Hmm. Well, all right, let me go and change the setting, see if that does anything and and if I catch any of the other neighbors here, I hope to be back. If not, I'll wave goodbye now. Take care. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye for now. Alrighty, I just switched over to manual focus and manual mode. See if it come in better than on moon mode. And it might. I'm not sure. That one spot on there, I'm not... <laughs> Oops, sorry. One spot there. Nearly in the middle. Hmm. But it's quite cool to get the sliver. But I have got it when it was even less illuminated than this, so. Anyway, I still don't see Jupiter and Venus. And the horizon looks kind of gunky, so. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to get some still pictures and see. Oh gosh, it's getting cold too. Or it's been cold, I'm just, uh, my fingers are numb. <laughs> I'll try to wait it out, but if I can't, well, sorry. <laughs> but I am a bit disappointed because I was looking forward to this. Uh, for days on end, we've had uh, Jupiter and, and Venus's neighbors, but uh, each morning I'd get up to look, and our skies have been densely packed with clouds or rain or something. I haven't seen the sun in days, so <laughs> I think there's a new sunspot coming around too, which I've missed so far. Maybe today. Alrighty, that'll do for now. I think we've got Mars here. I still can't see the other planets, but uh, this should be Mars. It's a uh, it's ahead of the moon, about the I don't know. I'd say the two o'clock position or so. But I, I just can't dial in settings anymore. My, my fingers are frozen, so doggone it. <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta give up for now. Oh my, well, at least we've got uh, something and something different as a matter of fact. Go out so we can see where the moon is, okay. And there was a star or something that was up above the, uh, planet Mars. I'm guessing it might have been Regulus. I'm not sure. I'll have to check when I go in, so. So there they are for now. Um, I don't think I can change the uh, shutter and aperture while I'm in live mode. No, it's not working. Okay, so I can't adjust it. But that's what we have for now. It looks like I'm not going to be able to get the, uh, the planet, so I'll wave goodbye now. Take care. See ya.